just want to thank all of you for taking your time today to come and uh, say goodbye to my dad. Uh, this is a true testament to what type of person he really was. He had a really big heart. He was like the rest of us. We all screw up and make mistakes. But uh, when it come down to it, if you called him and you needed him, he would be there. The thing about my dad that I love the most is he, he never could throw up. It's been a pretty big year for me. I lost my dad. I had a daughter. I broke up with my band. And now I'm going to Memphis playing solo at the Blues Jam. the only option there is. Just some people are going to shine through. I just hope that I shine through. Well, Joshua Yarbrough is one busy musician from hosting Give Back Tuesday on every Tuesday to playing shows, recording albums, and even making a documentary. And we join in, Joshua, with us this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you. We back. appreciate Lord you Clark. being with us. Really? Lord Clark? That's tall, sir. I got more of Lord Roy Clark. Red. David Gates, Tulsa. I can keep going. That's, uh, that's... We have W Post 577. The Centennial Lounge is right upstairs. This is where we come every Tuesday for Give Back Tuesday. These two guys are uh, the first two and so far the only members of my uh, band that's going to be going to Memphis to record at Sun Studios. So, Mr. David Knight. Mr. Gary Heck, two of my closest friends, two people that believe in love, music, and rock and roll. In September, I won the Blues Challenge in Tulsa as a solo artist. By doing so, I was awarded a spot to compete in the International Blues Challenge in Memphis, Tennessee. You know, it feels really good to be noticed for some of the hard work I've put in. I've already been to Memphis before with a couple other bands to compete, and it was a great time, but this time's a lot different. And this time, it's all on me. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the Midnight Fire Music Festival. We're we'll going at 8. This old guitar is the guitar. This thing has been fixed more times than I could count, and it just has a very special close place to my heart. It's been the root to most of this blues music that I play, and it's become really the cornerstone of my, my tone and my sound. So, you know, we're just gonna keep our fingers crossed and have faith that this thing's gonna make it through, because it's kind of like the only one I got. 
solo duo winner that's going to represent us at the International Blues Challenge in Memphis, Tennessee, Mr. Joshua Yarbrough. Check one, two. Check one, two. Perfect. Check one, two. This next one's a, kind of like an Otis Redding tune I've been writing. So we're going to Memphis in January. Thank you very much for the Blue Society for uh, giving me that honor. I'm really excited. I haven't done it as a solo artist yet. So I made some plans once I found out I was going to Memphis. And I called Sun Studios. And for some reason, they let crazy people like me in there if long we have the money to record. So fortunately, I'm going to take some guys down to uh, Sun Studios. And we're going to record a record of... Uh, some old school music, some original music, a little bit of everything. I'm really excited about that. You know, I've been doing this thing for about 12 years now. I entered my first blues challenge about 10, almost, it might be 11 years now. I thought, man, I want to win one of these someday, and I never thought I'd win one of them. And now this is like the third time I get to go to Memphis. You know, the other two times I went with bands. There's something different about this time, you know. So what we're looking at here is my first ever royalty statement for our performance on Good Day Tulsa, the local uh, television station, TV show in the morning, of $2.55. That's my share. Uh, this is the first of hopefully many. Also today I was able to uh, close the book on a chapter. We've got all of our music registered. Uh, all of our stuff's legit for the $5 sugar, all the stuff we wrote you know, a few years ago. Some great songs and we just don't want it to go uh, unheard. So uh, trying to move on past our difficulties as human beings and individuals and uh, do it for the music, you're right? <laughs> Space guys, where's it? Flip that switch, man. Do we need a slider in here? Mm. Right now, we're gonna try to knock these seven out. We got a couple of other songs here in the developmental stages. Bridge, go to the D. Yeah, part of the job for a second. All right, I can't talk about it. It is going to the D. The bridge is gonna go at because you got the solo break. You get a really good sound with a group of guys and you get kind of stuck in that you have that really good sound with that group of guys and you can't replicate it you can't remake it so it's you know it's like now I have to get my own sound now I have to go make my own sound we are at Valcor Sound with Mr. Ed Charles recording some supplemental tracks and a few tunes for the soundtrack Let's play together and let me get a balance. Another dark and lonely night. Me and my baby had another fight. Everybody 
Everybody feeling all right? What we're going to do is we're going to come right in and we're going to do a first break and start the verse. Just a little bit more volume in the headphones, and let's try it again. I'll pull it off. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> After a few lineup changes, uh, we did a great session of Valcor sounds. So I'm confident that the band we've got put together is ready for Memphis. Here we are with the premiere of Memphis Bound, the band I'm taking to the Sun Studios. Scooters North 40, world premiere. <laughs> Spectacular Christmas extravaganza. If you guys have no idea what's actually going on, I'll give you guys a little background. The band that I brought here with me tonight and myself are going to be heading to Memphis, Tennessee to record at the famous Sun Studio. All right. This lovely lady has been nice enough to walk around with this with this tip bucket because it costs money to go to Memphis. Together, our contributions will help compensate for the following costs. Six night hotel stay while receiving. Together, our contributions will help with the following costs. Six night hotel stay while recording and competing. Travel costs for a six piece band and myself. What we've done here is just launched our crowdfunding campaign. It's kind of a make it or break it situation. We need $3,000 and we got 20 days to get it. We're trying to pack six people into a hotel and and, and all the stuff that it costs to make a good record and the trip work out. So, you know, it's really crucial that we make this go. Yeah. Matty Reagan, you make me smart, man. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Wake me in the morning with the big blue eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all gonna get it on time this time. One, two, three, four. We only have a week left 
and we haven't even reached half of our crowdfund goal. Here we are in Jinx, Oklahoma, Smitty's 118 Tavern. Final uh, trip before we go to the uh, Big Bad Sun Studios and International Blues Challenge. Well, what should we do now? Let's do some cool house. <laughs> Finally reached our goal this morning. Awesome feeling. We got $200 in donations overnight. It's kind of funny because last week we were looking and we weren't even halfway to our goal. And now here we are uh, heading to Memphis. Us reaching our goal really made me feel, but you know, that, that's the type of stuff that like, you know, like, uh, makes you feel just good, you know? Like, you, you were supposed to do it. Like, the, you were supposed to do this. I'm kind of nervous and bummed out because this will be the first time I'm away from uh, my little baby ever since she was born. She's 10 months now. Like, that's a long... Not, never spend a night away from her. That's, that's a long time, so... I think my wife's nervous and I'm a little nervous. Hey! Yeah. I want to let you know Chris and Garrett are on the way back to get Garrett's truck. Why? Chris's car is overheating. Really? Yeah. Mm. So they're on their okay. way back. They're on their way back. I just wanted to let you know that they'd be there. Okay. All right. All right. We're on the way back on the highway to go the way we don't want to go. No, we're going to have to go straight. I 40's right there. Tell them to go straight. Go around them if you can. That's the wrong way. You gotta go 22 miles to turn around and come back. That's not good. I can see I-40 from where I'm at. <laughs> you head to Memphis, we'll head to Memphis, we'll all meet up. Hey, brother, calling to check on you, man. How's it going? We're going all right, man. Just yeah. a couple hours behind y'all. All right, brother. Yeah, I'll send you a text when we're uh, when we're heading back to Memphis. Awesome, so you know brother. We're back. Be okay, safe, man. Be safe, man. We will, dude. All right. All right. Thanks, man. Tennessee. I can check into our room. Uh, 6:47. We got the rest of the band following behind us. They're a little bit behind us, but uh, they're coming. Last I checked in the room. Yeah. So I went back to where I just left. My baby's hands were full of.
day two, Memphis, Tennessee. I'll give you guys a recap of our first day. Uh, yesterday we left around 11.30, had a little car troubles. Chris and Garrett had to turn around and go get Garrett's truck. So they were a couple hours behind us. So we went out on the strip, went and had a killer meal over at Blue City Place, had a few drinks, come back to the room, picked a little guitar, and now here we are, day two. Uh, we're gonna go eat some breakfast. Uh, I'm gonna take these guys to the Rock and Soul Museum. And then we're gonna go record an album at Sun Studios. <laughs> Fix we go to Stan Studios and get our record on. I think it's all kind of hit us a little bit. We're all like a little giddy and geared up. <laughs> You want to leave this here? Take it over. Yeah, just leave it there. We'll come to your job when we leave. We'll right. ask the question before we do anything. Where you want us? Where are you going to set us up? How do you want to set up? No, well, you know, luckily for us, they probably have enough mics that both of the keys are probably mic. We probably won't have to change anything. The way I figure, you know, don't even consider the other kit, Dave. Just bring your stuff in. Let's set it up on your stuff. my car. It's ready to go. Let's not worry about the kit that they got there. If we start getting close to the time and we're so far on so many songs, we're cutting. We're just gonna go at that point. I want them all cut. We'll try to get them as good as we can, but if we get toward the end and we got extra songs, we're just gonna go in and do them like we're playing a set of music. No, so we're all gonna be in the same room? All gonna be in the same room. Leak out, dude. We're heading down to Sun Studios. We got the band in tow, they're right behind us. Uh, here we go. Uh, we only really got one shot in a lot of these songs. We should really nail it, man. It should be just a great time. I really have a feeling that it's gonna. How much time? We got four hours. By the time we set up and we get recording, you know, four hours of recording time. Try to do it in a few takes as opposed to a bunch of things. Sure. Try to, yeah, try to get in there and kill it. That's the goal, anyway, right? All right, good job. Here, take those. There you go. <laughs>
We got 45 minutes and we have to change instruments in order to do it all. So let's just go do it. <laughs> Somewhere along the line, just something might have come disconnected. I don't know. I'm going to take it to the music store and plug it in their PA and hopefully. It's not. I don't know. I know it's like Tuesday and tomorrow we get this thing started. And Yeah, it's got a pickup, but I use this as it's got a yeah, LR. Yeah, so I got you. Yeah. I'm just wanting yeah, to see if it'll be. Go ahead and get, get your guitar out. Give it to me. Even though it's like crashed at Sun Studios on me, <laughs> at least they had other guitars laying around. But it still kind of was kind of discouraging, you know. Were you using this cable or that cable? This one. Okay. Man, I wonder what. Where to? Oh yeah, there it is. There. That's four, three, four years ago. That was the last time we were here. Looks like the band is home safe and sound, so that's good to know. Uh, they were all really awesome. It's time to get back down to business, so I've got a, got a big, little big day tomorrow to get this thing, get this thing started. We've got about five songs now, and we just got a couple more. And, uh, yep, how long is that? Uh, 25 minutes. Some are covers, some are originals, mostly originals. Blues Challenge. An opportunity for each of you to challenge yourself to be the best on the stage. 
to challenge yourself to meet other musicians, to challenge yourself to talk to people on the streets, get to know each other, learn as, as you go, and in the end, we'll be cramming somebody, but really what matters is what happens tonight and tomorrow and through the week, both on and off the stage. And with that, I'm going to turn this over to Joe, because uh, this is the man you really have to listen to. But this is the guy who's going to get you through the week, listen to everything he says, and then listen to it again. I know everybody's read the rules, right? Yeah. Yeah. You've reread the rules. Yeah. You've checked the uh, IBC competitor facts, right? Yes. You told me what equipment you needed, so you're going to have it in the venue, all but a couple of you, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. We're going to do our best with the equipment, you guys. Like Barbara said, it's a challenge. It's also a challenge for a small staff to put on a, an event that brings in 300, uh, 257 of the best acts from every region of the world. Yeah. You guys are winners already. And we are challenged to make sure that you have the best time that you can have on Beale Street. So while you're clapping, give yourselves a hand because you guys were winners way before you got here. Just found out I'm going to be playing at uh, 7 o'clock at the Orpheum Juke. Orpheum Juke joint, uh, pre check in, another check in, let them know we're here. And, uh, yeah, that's what's going on there. Okay, the performers are now coming in. Performers? Performers only. There's a lot of competition here. And we're here to do the same thing. To be here again to compete with some of the world's best is pretty intimidating. You know, this is the biggest goal so far. Let's just hope we can move forward in this competition. Give it up for Tina and Brandon from Des Moines, Iowa, representing the Blue Societies of Iowa. All right, we'll do a quick changeover. I'm going to mention a few things while we're doing that. Uh, first of all, I want to remind everybody there is a five minute changeover. That's all we've got to change between acts. So. And if we can do it a little quicker, we will. You ready to hear some more blues? Oh, come on. Well, we'll just go home then. Are you ready to hear some more blues? There we go. From Tulsa, Oklahoma, representing the Blue Society of Tulsa, Joshua Yarbrough. Thank you so much. Oh, 
representing the Blues Society of Tulsa. Day two of the Blues Challenge, and we're down here at the mighty Mississippi. Last night was a pretty strong set. We're 30 minutes later on our set time tonight as we were last night. Definitely a different feel in the rooms. It seems like last year, the other years, the, the rooms that I was in were a little louder because we were in bands. So I thought the uh, playing solo and how quiet and appreciative everybody seemed to be in the uh, in the audience last night was pretty refreshing. So I think the difference this time and all the other blues challenges besides being by myself is I can appreciate it a little bit more. You are spectacular, sir. <laughs> Wendell, oh my God, let me so shake much. your hand. Thank you, Wendell. I know. Thank you. <laughs> Wendell is the man. <laughs> I'd like to give a big shout out to Wendell at the I-40 rest stop in Memphis, Tennessee for rescuing our keys from a drainage ditch. Bye, baby. So uh, we're getting prepared for the second performance of the first round of the Blues Challenge. We'll play tonight, and we'll find out if we're going to move to the semifinals.
Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Good luck to you. Have fun tonight. Hey, thank you. A lot of people ask about blues music and why we're, why we're doing what we do. And it's like, you know, it's not what I do. It's who I am. It's part of, of my, my DNA. Uh, it's, it's not just playing music and picking guitar to me, and it never has been. So hopefully my natural, uh, just me being myself, shines through. You know, that's my hopes. want to be able to go out and share my music with people and, and do what I love and whatever happens happens you know I'm gonna I'm gonna put my best foot forward I'm gonna do the best I can musically I'll never stop playing music so you know I just want to be happy you know at the end of the day I think it's the hardest part about it is like you got so many people waiting on you 
and expecting you to do really good and like expecting to move on and you don't so like it's really hard I'm gonna get a hold of my family and uh, tell them I didn't make it and even though we're just here for a blues challenge to challenge ourselves to do better it's it still pretty sucks. And I'm not dissatisfied with what I played. And I'm not upset with the sets that I played. You know, I feel good about it. I think the uh, mm -hmm. I think the emotional part that I'm having right now, I think the problem that I'm having with dealing with the situation has nothing to do with how I played. It just like, I think it has a lot to do with just, just wanting to make it, you know? Just wanting people to feel what you were saying and understand and like. I don't know, man. I, re I really didn't want to go home on Friday. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> down the road and we'll see you in Oklahoma. Says I got 57.8 gigabytes left. This is a 64 gigabyte deal. Hey folks, here we are a year later from the original Blues Challenge. We're at the Canes Ballroom, 13th Annual Blues Challenge Band Competition this time. It's gonna be Steam Shovel, me, Mr. Garrett Heck, and Mr. Timbo Kelly. And uh, we couldn't be having a better time. The great players. It's going to be exciting. I'm happy to be here. Let me introduce to you, from Tulsa, Oklahoma, Steam Shovel.
Lord, you told me you was leaving, baby Darling, it's all right Cause I ain't wanna stay here no more